monitoring static and dynamic websites using the webpage speed browser. When your web page is slow, your users get frustrated and the number of people abandoning your site grows steadily. To pinpoint the exact reason for the lag, you need to understand the file sizes and load time of every single component of a web page. Site 247's web page speed browser helps you track the performance metrics for each web page component by rendering it in a real web browser. Setting up the monitor is pretty straightforward. Navigate to Admin, Web Page Speed Browser. Provide a display name and the website URL you want to monitor. Specify the page load timeout, which is the time taken for the connection with the server. When the connection is not established, the website will be reported as down due to timeout. Choose the nature of your website, static or dynamic. If your website is dynamic, the monitor waits an additional 10 seconds after the page load time to allow scripts and events to load completely. Select the locations from which the URL is to be monitored and click Save. The monitor now collects the performance metrics for every component in the website from the selected monitoring locations. Here we can see that one of the components has a high connection time. This means that the time taken to establish a TCP connection with the IP address of the domain is high. Delays like these happen because of server overloading and have to be addressed before they affect end users. You can also see a breakdown of each component by size and requests made. Clicking on a component will also give you the request and response header details. With Site247, you can monitor the change in size of individual objects like images, scripts, and CSS used in a page. The monitor's threshold profile lets you configure threshold values for the individual page components, which if exceeded, triggers an alert to the concerned technician. The web page speed browser monitor also provides you with the page speed insights which guide you with the suggestions for better page optimization. For example, we see that one of the web page components is created as C. It is recommended that compressing the resources with gzip could reduce the transfer size. This can be applied to your web page after which you can measure the impact of the implemented changes in the response time graph. This way you can optimize your websites for better load time and visualize the impact of the changes you apply to your site.